Hello, my name is Dean Anderson and I am the Safety Products Manager for Ramco Innovations. Today we are going to look at the setup and connection of the Omron STI OS 32C laser scanner directly to a PC. The following components are required when implementing a laser scanner for a typical safety application. Laser scanner, machine control cable, which is available in 3, 10, 20, and 30 meter lengths, the Ethernet communication cable, which is available in 2, 5, and 15 meter lengths, and the configuration software disk that is included with the purchase of every scanner. There are also a variety of mounting brackets available for mounting and aligning the scanner. Let's take a look. The first thing to do is mount your scanner in a safe and secure place to avoid damage due to moving objects or falling debris. Next, the machine control cable is connected, which provides the 24 volt DC power to the scanner, as well as the safety and control I.O. The Ethernet cable is then connected directly from the laptop to the laser scanner. The final step is loading the configuration software on the PC to be used for programming the scanner. Establishing direct communication with a scanner can be accomplished by either of two ways. The first method is by configuring both the PC and the OS32C to the DHCP mode. Communication can also be established by setting the PC and the OS32C to different fixed IP addresses on the same network. For step-by-step -step procedure for using the DHCP mode or changing the IP addresses for Windows 2000, XP, or 7, refer to the white paper link in the description below. Now we can launch the software on the PC connected to the scanner. The software will automatically search for the scanner on the network. You can also select Discover Sensors from the Utilities menu. From the logon screen, select the IP address of the OS32C to be connected. Select the user access level and enter the password. The OS32C is shipped with a default password provided in the manual. When communication and access have been established, the user access level will be displayed. The password for various access levels can be changed in the utilities menu. The user interface will now be displayed, which includes the graphical display of the protected zone, the drawing and configuration tools, and the system parameter settings box. This user interface allows you to draw the safety and warning zones as well as set the operating parameters for your particular application. To end communication with the scanner, simply select Log Off and click OK. I hope you found this brief video helpful with the setup of your new scanner. Thanks and keep it safe. For programming the scanner, a scammer. <laughs> Today we are looking to at the, the setup. Yep, that, that setup. Oh, that setup. You can also select this uh, discover. Take two. Take four. Take seven. <laughs>